moving on to our next chapter which is tissues 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 are a group of those cells which have a similar structure and a similar function these group of cells they tend to collaborate together and they tend to perform a specific function in plants as well as animals so these variety of different tissues they are present both in plants as well as animals in human beings the cells of muscle tissue they contract and relax so that a person or an animal can easily move this continuous contraction and relaxation of muscles is due to muscular tissue which is present in animals or human beings similarly in plants there are various organization of cells there are various collaboration of cells in the form of a tissue to perform a specific function such as transport of water and transportation of food from one part of the plant to another what is the difference between plant tissue and animal tissue plant tissue is that which do not move from one place to another and most of the plant tissues they are involved in providing mechanical support and mechanical strength to the plant so definitely most of the plant tissue they will not be living and most of them will be dead cells because they have to provide mechanical support and strength so they don't have to move from one place to another but all in the other case in animal tissues they have to move from one place to another like muscle tissue it is involved in contraction and relaxation of muscle so so that a person or an animal or a human being whatever it can move from one place to another so definitely the muscle tissue consists of those cells which are living and they are not at all dead cells now moving on to plant tissues plant tissues are of two main types one is meristematic tissue and another is permanent tissue what are meristematic tissue meristematic tissues are further divided into three categories one is apical meristematic tissue which is present in the apical area one is intercalary meristematic tissue which is present in the intercalary regions and one is the lateral meristematic tissue which is present in the lateral regions of stems and roots another tissue is a permanent tissue as i told you the permanent tissue will be that tissue which do not have to divide but meristematic tissue is that tissue which has to divide so definitely meristematic tissue will be present in those areas of plants which are continuously growing like growing tips of stems growing tips of roots so they are definitely going to divide continuously throughout the life of a plant that's why the meristematic region consists of the growing tissue or growing parts of cell whereas permanent tissue is that tissue which has actually lost its ability to divide so definitely it has committed that yes it's going to perform this function throughout the life so that's why it consists of all dead cells which have lost their ability to divide and this permanent tissue is further divided into simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue the simple permanent tissue is further divided into parenchyma collenchyma and sclerenchyma whereas the complex permanent tissue is further divided into xylem and phloem which are the actually conducting tissues of the plant what is a meristematic tissue as i've already told you that it is present in the tips area this is a cross section of the stem apex and this is a cross section of the root apex or root tip which is showing the meristematic tissue this meristematic tissue these are small cells which have a prominent nucleus the cell walls are quite thin and they have a large vacuole and these cells are lacking intercellular space intercellular space is that space which is uh, a space between two cells or between adjacent cells but as we can see that these are actively dividing cells and the intercellular space is absent in the meristematic tissue the meristematic tissue as i earlier told there are of three types one is the apical meristematic tissue which is present in the tips of stems and roots one is the lateral meristematic tissue which is present in the sides of stems and roots so that they can provide mechanical strength to stems and roots another one is intercalary meristematic tissue and this meristematic tissue is present in the base of leaves and internodes so that it can help the growth in the internodal regions next is the permanent tissue which is actually formed from meristematic tissue but they have lost their ability to divide so now they are non living or dead cells they do not divide they have a permanent shape and a permanent size and these cells they further differentiate into simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue the simple permanent tissues are those permanent tissues which are made up of only one type of cells and this one type of cells can be parenchyma collenchyma or sclerenchyma 
parenchyma are those cells which are actually thin walled cells they are thin walled and they have more intercellular spaces as i can show you the parenchyma cells are here these are large prominent cells having a large vacuole and they are actually thin walled cells the walls of these cells are thin so moving back so these are the parenchyma cells and they have large air cavities even which help them to float on the water next is the collenchyma collenchyma are also a type of parenchymal cells but these are a bit elongated then parenchyma cells second point they have a thick walls they don't have a thin cell wall however they have a thick cell wall so this is the main difference between the parenchyma and collenchyma cells they have elongated cells and moreover they have less intercellular spaces as we can see that these are the intercellular spaces which are present between the parenchyma cells but the intercellular spaces between these adjacent collenchyma cells is actually absent moving on to sclerenchyma which is a long narrow cells but they are dead they are long cells which are also narrow you can see that these cells are narrow than collenchyma and parenchyma cells and moreover these cells are dead cells and they have a thick cell wall so this is all about a simple permanent tissue now moving on to complex permanent tissue complex permanent tissue they are of two types xylem and phloem xylem they consist of these tragedes vessels xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers xylem is involved in the upward movement of water it is move uh, it is involved in the upward movement of water from the roots to the leaves of plant but phloem it is uh, opposite of xylem it is involved in the downward movement of food which is synthesized by the leaves during photosynthesis so that it can move to all parts of the plants including roots so this is a downward movement and xylem provides a upward movement however phloem also provides a upward movement to the new growing tips of the plants so this is all about a complex permanent tissue now we'll later discuss about various animal tissues